Hello and good day everyone. My name is Jana Namoko and for today I am going to discuss the under the unit 2 school as a social system. So I will focus on the, the school as a community. So so first before we go deeper to our uh, topic this uh, today um, let's do for uh, let's read first our objectives. So, at the end of the lesson, the students will be able to okay, ident uh, define the concept of a school as a community, including patterns of connection and functions within the broader societal context. And in S, the skill is construct examples illustrating the relationship between schools and communities, demonstrating how collaboration enhances both educational outcomes and, com and community well-being. And for our A, our advocate the significance of strong school community relationships and encourage others to actively engage in fostering and maintaining this partnership. So here, uh, I have here a key questions. Uh, these questions, um, we will discuss or tackle this in our topic. So, what is school? What is community? What is school culture? And what is the relationship between school and community? So let's begin to define what is school. Okay, so school is an educational institution institution designed to to provide learning spaces and learning environments for the teach for, for the teaching of students under the direction of teachers. So a school is an educational institution where students of var various ages and backgrounds come together to acquire knowledge, skills and values so it is a school is it, it is a structured a structured environment um, to facilitate learning and provide opportunities to the personal and their academic growth so next is let's define a community what is community so community is a group of associate uh, associated nations sharing common interests or a common heritage so a community um, it is a group of individuals who share common interests characteristics or goals and are connected by social interactions relationships and a sense of belonging next is let us define what is a sc school culture so generally um, refers to the beliefs, perceptions, and relationships, attitudes, and written and unwritten rules that shape and influence every aspect of how a school functions. School culture refers to the sh to the shared values, beliefs, norms, and traditions, and also practices that shape the overall atmosphere and environment within a school. It is compasses the attitudes or behavior, be behaviors and relationship among students. Among students, teachers, administrators, staff, and parents which contribute to the school's identity and its character. So next is, what are school communities in a community? So let's um, know the member, what who are the member of the school and the members of the community so uh, in the members of the school we have teachers students administrators non-teaching staff parents and other stakeholders while in the members of the community we see the LGU non-government agencies civic organizations and residents School community relationship. So let's discuss what are the relationship between school and the communi uh, community. 
So the members of the school will be will be the members of their local community, reflecting its beliefs and values that conveyed through the action, behavior, and attitudes of pupils, teaching and unteaching staff, parents, governors, and the local educational agency. So there are three possible patterns of connection between the school and the community as described in the education educational literature. So the first one is the closed door pattern, the open door open door pattern and the balance pattern. So let's define first what is the closed door pattern. So on um, the closed door pattern the school de deals with all the ch child child's educational and social problems community involvement and inventions are minimal and school will be unaware of, ch of changes occurring this system so according to Fredman in 1986 the closed door policy towards the community needs feedback so the school deals with all the child's educational and social problems and community involvement and intervention are minimal so with a closed system like the law of nature the energy of system will deteriorate therefore according to friedman in 1986 the closed door policy towards the community needs feedback so not now let's proceed what is the open door open door pattern so the open door door pattern the school and the parents operate open systems it makes the parents be partners to the child's educational process and strives to become an influential factors in the life of the community so the open door pattern uh, the school and the parents operate as open systems so that information flows freely in both direction the school will an open the school will an open door policy makes the parents partners to their child's educational process and strive to become an influential factor the, in the life of the community so next let's proceed to the balance to the balance pattern so the the school the school and the parents set the, the, the degree of closeness or distance between them in order to achieve educational and social goal to the optimal context extent extend so there is no overstepping of boundaries <coughs> so the balance pattern the school and the parents set the degree of, of closeness or the distance between them to achieve their educational and social goal to the optimal content so here <coughs> i have here an example of a school local community partnership for example the brigada escuela so as we all know that the brigada escuela the the students and the teacher and the, and the parents are helping each other in order to have a better school in the community the curriculum development so they are the one helping each other to make our curriculum a uh, better and next is the work experience program so <coughs> the work experience program example of this is the immersion <coughs> where the students are allowed to um to go through in the community to to engage themselves in and uh, share their skills through um through working and next is the youth development program so here it allows the youth to help the the programs in the community for example is the cleanup drive and other and other um <clears throat> and other activities that involves the students in the community so next is <clears throat> roles of parents and families parents uh, parental involvement increase awareness of the importance of the community action according to steen and harpas in 1995 so when the parents take part in the educational process, the pupils aren't exposed to a vanity of people who represent different worlds in terms of experience, age, occupation, habits, and mentally, and mentally mentality. These encounters afford many opportunities for learning enrichment and identification, according to Ney, 1984. So what are the rules of <coughs> a teacher? So the teacher 
acknowledge and draw up parental knowledge and expertise. Ensure that parents understand the procedures, are aware of how to access support and are given documents to discuss well before meeting. Educate individuals to become active and participants in the community. <clears throat> Next is the school as a community. So every school is central to its local community. Members of the school become members of their local community. All members contribute to the educational ex 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 exponents of a child. Okay, so the school as a community, we see it, we, well, we see it as a more, more than just a place of education. Instead, it is a social unit where students, teachers, administrators, staff, and parents come together as a cohesive and interconnected group. Viewing a school as a community means recognizing the importance of building relationships, fostering a sense of belonging, and promoting collaboration among its members. So here are the resources or the sources that I get from uh, the information of my report. So I hope that uh, we learned something from my report. Thank you so much for listening.